Hello wonderful people, it's Genevieve and my goal here on this channel is to teach you all about illustration and design. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the weekly videos and so that you can join our wonderful creative community. Now I've been getting a lot of questions regarding which iPad I use for Procreate and which iPad I would recommend you use for digital art. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking at in this video, but I'm not going to make it more complicated. This is not a tech review video. If you have not noticed, I'm not a tech review channel at all. I'm just going to share with you some observations that I've made as well as just some general tips to help you make your decision in regards to which iPad you might want to buy for yourself. And to do that, we're going to look at four different things. So we're going to look at the model, the storage space, the screen size, and finally, pencil or no pencil. So let's jump in. So let's start with the model and the iPad family. I personally have the iPad Pro 2018, which is the third generation, I think. And honestly, I can't complain. I love it so much. I've had it since it came out. So probably almost three years now, which is crazy. And I use it day in, day out every single day of the year and it works great for Procreate. I only use it for Procreate. I don't really have anything else on there, honestly, but it is wonderful and honestly i went ahead and bought the ipad pro 2021 so the one with the m1 chip when it came out just a few weeks ago to compare both and i'm not gonna lie when you're using them for procreate there's really not that big of a difference so that's some really good news in order to run procreate you don't necessarily need the newest fanciest ipad pro the older model for now with the current versions that we have of both the ios and procreate they work just fine. But now that brings a question, do you absolutely need an iPad Pro to use Procreate or can you also use it on the iPad mini, the iPad Air or the regular iPad? Well, there is no clear cut answer for that. You're going to be able to install the app on most of those iPads. I will link in the description below a full chart of which iPad is compatible with the newest version of Procreate because that evolves all the time. So I don't want to say anything in the video because it might change tomorrow. But so far, you know, most of the iPads that have been put out in the last five years are compatible with Procreate. So that is good. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that Procreate does put a limit on the size of your canvas, as well as how many layers you can have in each canvas. And that is depending on a few key factors that are built in your iPad, such as the RAM. And without getting too technical, just remember that the RAM is basically something that is made into your iPad and dictates how performant it can be. That is not something you can change yourself. It is a piece of hardware. And the thing is, iPad Pros tend to have significantly higher RAM than iPad Air, iPad Mini, and even just regular iPad. So that means you can probably install Procreate on those other versions, but you're going to be much more limited within the app just because of the RAM itself. So that is something to keep in mind. You're going to be able to use the software, but it might be a little bit more limiting. Now, in terms of storage space, I have some really good news for you. Procreate files are incredibly small. For example, my 2018 iPad, like I say, I use it every single day and I've used it for almost three years now. And I have entire children's books in there and they're backed up somewhere else as well. So don't worry. But every project that I've ever made within those three years is still in Procreate and I've barely used 100 gigabytes. So you can for sure do a whole lot of illustrations without it taking up a lot of space in your iPad. The one I have is the 256 gig, but I mean, I'm not even halfway there and I've used it for three years, like I was saying. So if you're planning on using your iPad mostly for Procreate and if you're not planning on storing other pictures or other videos on your iPad, you can definitely take a smaller storage space for Procreate, you will be fine. So that is a really nice way of saving money. You could go with, you know, like I was saying, a little bit less memory in your iPad. Now, in terms of screen size, well, you have a bunch of options depending on the model, the year, the generation, all those things. I personally have the 12.9 inch, like I was saying, on the iPad Pro, which is the biggest screen. And when we look at it, you know, it is a pretty nice screen. But when you think that you have to fit an entire children's book spread in there or an entire video or animation, it doesn't look quite as big anymore. 
So if you're a hobbyist and you're only thinking of using your iPad here and there a few times a week for short periods of time, you're probably fine going with the smaller screen. That being said, if you know you're going to use your iPad multiple times a week for long periods of time, at a time, um, I really recommend you get the bigger screen you can. It is just going to be way easier on your eyes and just easier in general. I know it is a little bit of an investment, but if you know you're going to use your iPad really, really often, it might be worth waiting a little bit to save a little bit more in order to get just those few extra inches that really do make a difference over time. And the last thing we need to talk about is this little friend right here. If you're like me, when you saw the press of the Apple Pencil for the first time, your heart probably stopped because this little thing is quite expensive for a pencil, but it is such a great tool. <laughs> it's like, I wish I could tell you, you don't need the Apple Pencil, but it makes a massive difference. For me, I think it's the difference between, you know, finger painting with gouache when you're a kid on big pieces of paper or painting with a paintbrush. It is that big of a difference and it is that great of a tool. And there are a few reasons for that. One of them being that as of today, at least the Apple pencil is one of the only pencil on the market that has full pressure sensitivity on the iPad, which means depending on how hard or how soft you press on your screen with the pencil, you're going to get totally different results on your strokes. So you might get a stroke that is smaller, bigger, lighter, darker, different colors, different texture. And it's not just pressure. You also have this tilt sensitivity with the pencil. So depending on the angle that you draw on your screen with your pencil, you're gonna get different types of stroke. It might be a thicker stroke, a thinner stroke. It's going to behave almost like a real pencil. So that is really, 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 really helpful. And beyond just the sensitivity of the pencil, I don't know about you, but I don't know anyone that has a finger as precise as this little point right here. So drawing is already hard enough as it is. You don't need to make it harder on yourself by trying to draw precise little details on the screen with your finger. Having the pencil is really, really, really helpful. And it is such an important tool that I would probably recommend that if you don't necessarily have the budget to get both the pencil and the iPad Pro, you might consider going first with the iPad, the iPad Air or the iPad mini and the Apple Pencil and just get started that way. It is going to be so much easier for you to try and draw on the screen with a pencil as opposed to drawing with your finger. And it's going to be just a better experience in Procreate overall. And you're going to feel like you're making more progress way faster and it is just going to be less frustrating for you. And if you're new to Procreate, I highly recommend you check out this playlist in which I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started with digital art. So just click on the link right here and I'll meet you there.